How's it going guys? We have an easy question for pathology for step one. Not going to be a lengthy clip here. Tell you exactly what you need to know and not waste our time. This type of question all over the NBME exams for step one, exceedingly high yield. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So you've got a 63-year-old woman. She has a two-month history of blood in her urine. Cystoscopy shows transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder. Question wants to know which biopsy finding is most likely to warrant cystectomy in this patient. Now, as I said, going to be a very consolidated clip here. You need to know grade versus stage. So grade is going to be degree of anaplasia, not aplasia, which is lack of growth. Anaplasia is degree of undifferentiation. How immature cell do the cells look? How much do they not resemble the native tissue? So if you do a biopsy of a bladder cell and it doesn't look anything like a bladder cell, it looks like a premature stem cell, then that's going to be a high grade finding, okay? So grade is degree of anaplasia, high number of mitoses, which that aspect can be divided into nuclear to cytoplasm ratio. So if we have this one-to-one -one nuclear to cytoplasm ratio, this reflects a high grade, okay? So students get tripped up by this. The nucleus should be way smaller than the cytoplasm. So a one-to-one -one ratio means we have a huge nucleus, a large number of nucleoli, okay, which is protein synthesis, and a high Ki67 index, fancy terminology. It's just a marker that reflects number of mitoses. So a high Ki67 means high grade. So once again, degree of anaplasia, number of mitoses, and then we can look at things such as a uh, one-to-one -one nuclear cytoplasm ratio and, and a high KI67 index for high grade. And then we've got stage, which is how much has the cancer spread? If it's in situ, if it hasn't crossed the base membrane, low stage. If it's invaded, if it's gone to lymph nodes, if it's metastasized, higher stage. Now that I just said all that, the key point you need to know is that stage is way more important for prognosis than grade. So these types of questions, they love giving you high grade with low stage and tricking you into thinking that that has a poor prognosis. The answer here is going to be D, papillary transitional cell carcinoma with microinvasion, because the invasion across the basin membrane is the highest stage of any of the answers here. Choice A, in situ, that's low stage. And then B and C, it says non-invasive, low stage. Okay, and then choice E, we have undifferentiated papillary transitional cell carcinoma. It doesn't say anything about the stage, okay? So D is the only one where we've got some sort of increase in stage, all right? So this is really, really high yield for Yosemilia, as I've said. They love this stuff all over the NBME exams, okay? So you need to know what grade is, as I articulated. You need to know what stage is, and you need to know stage is worse than grade, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.